So all of you must have heard the story. Uh, if you have uh, completely heard the story, uh, you can just type a message that you have heard so that I can continue, I mean, further. So it was a story of an ancient Greek painter and uh, he painted, uh, he drew a painting that was a wonderful painting. And he said that after this, I cannot do anything at all. But later on, again, he continued. So I would like to encourage all of you, my dear friends, that do not be slipped into the, I mean, comfort zone. There are so many heights ahead. So now we are going to slide number one. Uh, we are going to slide number one now. And uh, now with this, uh, I would request all of you kindly to kindly to follow me. So Namaskar, welcome to all of you in this session. Thank you very much for being with us. And uh, before I start this session, I would like to offer certain compliments to all the states. I would like to offer certain compliments to all the states. So we now move on to the next. We move on to the next slide. And here we see that... Uh, uh, so that I can read. Uh, here we can see that uh, about the Assam, I would like to offer my comment. And it is about Assam, I am saying, you are the land of the beauty where every occasion is celebrated as the festival. So thank you very much, Assam, for being present here. And the next comment or the compliment I would like to offer for Arunachal Pradesh. And I would like to say for Arunachal Pradesh that you are the window where from the sun peeps. You are known as the land of the rising sun. So thank you very much for being here. And now we are going to the other state and that is Manipur. And about Manipur, I would like to say that you are the blessed, that you are blessed with the land of dancing river and beautiful landscape. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm in Manipur for joining us. And then we come to Meghalaya. About the Meghalaya, I, I would like to say that uh, you have the bliss to live with the mesmerizing clouds, isn't it? It's wonderful to uh, talk about Meghalaya. Then we come to the state of Mizoram. About the Mizoram, some thought was coming in my heart and I would like to comment like this, that uh, Mizoram is a wonderful state where culture is the life and the life is the culture. Culture is the life and the life is the culture. And then we go to Nagaland. About Nagaland, I would like to say a state of fest, natural beauty and bounty. Thank you very much. And now uh, we have also with the Sikkim and Tripura. And uh, about uh, your state, I would like to say you are the land with uh, wandering clouds and the vibrant culture. So thank you very much. Now we move on to the next slide. And uh, we see here uh, a question comes here that what is e-content? What is e-content? All of you know, but uh, would like to share it once again. An e-content means any content produced electronically, right? Any content that is produced electronically, it is also called the digital content. You say it e-content or you say it digital content, the meaning is same. Uh, it is created, produced, and disseminated through any electronic medium. So this is called the e-content. So this is about the about the e-content. But now here comes a question, uh, uh, very important question that uh, since this, uh, I mean, session, this session is about creating the e-resources, how can we connect the e-resources or the audio program or the, I mean, audio with the national education policy. What the national education policy says, why we have organized this particular training program, why this is kept in, in our agenda that we are going to talk about the audio programs. So now about, uh, about the national education policy, I would like to say that future of radio is uh, in regard to the NEP is very important. Listen to me kindly, carefully. In fact, as far as the NEP is concerned, NEP strongly recommends, or the national education policy very, very strongly recommends the use of maximum possible of radio and the education sector. It recommends the use of the audio and the radio in the education sector. And one thing there I would like to add that when we talk about the radio, radio doesn't mean a kind of the mechanical, I mean, device or a box, which we used to see earlier. Radio means nowadays it has become, uh, it has become audio. When we talk about the radio, it means the audio. It means the podcast. It means, uh, it means recording on the mobile. It means any kind of the recording. It means the dubbing. So when we talk about the radio, I remember one thing when uh, I was, uh, when I joined NCRT, one of the person I had, I had gone to a training program and someone asked me that, uh, what are you doing? I said that, uh, sir, I am, uh, I am producing the radio program. And then uh, uh, he was a very senior official. And he said that, but uh, why do you produce radio program? No one listens to this. 
And that was a uh, that was a false notion. One thing more, I would uh, I would like to talk to you, and that is, NEP suggests the suggestion of the NEP. That's very important. Uh, the use of the radio because it reaches to the far flung areas where no access of the internet and the television is. So that is how we can connect with the I mean NEP with the radio or with the or with the audio. We are going to the next now. We are going to the next now. Now here is a question, my dear friends. Is radio, is radio unpopular? What do you think? Uh, I would like to welcome your messages on the chat box. If you if you message, I shall be happy. What is your opinion about it? Do you think that uh, radio is unpopular? What is your opinion? If anyone, I mean, comments, I will be happy about it because it's a very important question. Then further, I would like to elaborate on that. Right. What is saying very popular? For me, still it is okay. No, sir. Uh, if radio is modern podcast, then not. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your comments. So I would like to say certain things to you, my dear friends. It's very important. It's very important for all of us to understand. And that is, radio is not unpopular. Radio is not unpopular at all. The answer will be blunt, no. If you listen to, uh, it, uh, actually nowadays, uh, when you drive the car, Nowadays, when you drive the car, nowadays, when you when you listen to the, I mean, FM, you simply enjoy listening to the radio, you know, like I started today uh, driving to my office and I and I actually plugged into the radio. I started listening to the program. It was a wonderful music. And uh, I would like to tell you one thing that even 67 percent of the total population in the cosmopolitan city, they shape their public opinion. They shape their market opinion by listening to the radio. Radio is a very important medium nowadays. And as you have said that, as far as the podcast is concerned, as far as the podcast is concerned, it has become very popular. And nowadays, there is a growing trend in listening of the podcast. So radio is not at all unpopular. We can say about the radio and it is gaining the popularity day by day. Even if you go to Bollywood, everything, every business is about the audio because the voices are being dubbed. Voices are being dubbed. Let us go to the next now, and uh, I'm going to talk about strengths of the radio. What is the strength of the radio? Number one, I would like to say radio is a very, radio is a very economic medium. Uh, it's a very economic medium. It is, uh, it is affordable. It is affordable even by the lower income groups. It is very much affordable. Next strength of the radio, we can say that it is easily moveable. We can move it. We can carry it very easily. You can just go in the cycle and at the same time, you can listen to the podcast. You can listen to the radio. Simply, if you have a mobile, if you have a mobile, that's sufficient for you because the radio is inside. So it is easily movable. Uh, third thing is there, I would like to say, and all of you can see on the screen, it allows the multitasking. Multitasking means, I would like to say one thing, that uh, while listening to the radio or while listening to the audio program, you can do the gardening, you can do the walking, you can do the jogging, you can also do the kitchen work, you can do anything. Radio, about the radio, I would like to say, it doesn't captivate you to one place, to simply one place that you sit here, then you will see. No, it is not like this. Uh, you can simply move around and you can also run. You can also enjoy the other work and at the same time, you can listen to a music. So it is one of the uh, strongest strength of the radio. Next, we see that uh, radio has a wider reach, wider reach in tough geographical conditions. One quotation I would like to, uh, I mean, tell you. Someone has said that after sun rays, listen to me carefully, after sun rays, these are the waves of the radio only that cover the earth after the sun rays. So radio comes on the second. After the, after the, I mean, covering range of the, I mean, sun, after the sun rays, the radio waves are, the radio waves are there to cover the earth. So about the radio, I would like to say, uh, it uh, reaches to the tough geographical condition and more effective in the natural calamities. I remember uh, of the cyclone, uh, once it came in Andhra Pradesh in, and also in some of the other areas. And on that time, uh, we all have witnessed that radio played a very vital role, a very vital role. Like uh, uh, maybe the TV towers are fell, uh, maybe the other means of communication, uh, I mean, communications are not working. People completely depend on the radio. And it worked on that time, at the time of the natural, I mean, calamity, it worked 
on that time, I would like to say, as the, as an angel, it brings the good news to the people. Like uh, uh, if I am in a camp and if I and if I have lost my dear one and I'm just waiting for some good news, maybe in, uh, it will be announced in the radio that uh, Mr. So-and-so, we, we have an information to you that uh, your dear one is with us and he is, and he is completely safe. So it brings a good news. Number uh, Next, we can say that it creates more imagination. So it is the strength of the radio. Let us now move on to the next. And about this, uh, there are something very important. Uh, these things, my dear friends, I would like you to understand. Broadcasting. What do you mean by the broadcasting? Uh, just I would like to have the microphone. Uh, about the broadcasting, like uh, this broadcasting, this word, it is uh, uh, made of two words. Number one is the broad, and number two is the casting, right? Number one is the broad and number two is the casting. So that is broadcasting. What do we understand by broadcasting? Well, we have uttered this word for so many times. We have spoken this word for so many times and we say that we listen to the broadcast. But what do you mean by this? That I would like to uh, right now explain. Broadcasting, broad means something very wide. Okay. Uh, you can... Uh, you can, I mean, look at the screen right now. Broad means something very broad, and to cast means to cast, or like uh, a fisherman cast the net. Okay, so broadcasting means when the electromagnetic signals of the radio, when the radio signals are casted on a very vast landmass. Okay, look at me. When the radio signals are casted in a very vast landmass, like I can say that maybe assume that I'm speaking from London. Okay, I'm speaking from London and you are listening to me in the Meghalaya, you are listening to me in Assam, you are listening to me in uh, Nagaland, and I'm speaking right now. Hello, friends, I am your friend Ajit Horo, and I am talking right now to you from London. And uh, I have a very special program for you. And I would like to say that uh, uh, I would like to thank all of you that all of you are continuous all of you are continuously listening to our program. So thank you very much. And right now, right now I can get, uh, I'm getting your message. Someone is messaging me from uh, Nagaland. Okay, one more message I can see on my screen that someone is right now writing to me from Assam. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, in Manipur, radio ranges are too short, but uh, we listen through mobile apps mostly. Right. So right now, uh, just, uh, I mean, look at the screen. So I'm talking to London. I am talking from London. And at the same time, but you're listening to it in maybe, I mean, Manipur, maybe in some other areas. I'm talking about the shortwave. I'm not talking about the mobile app. So now I would like to say that I'm speaking from London and you're listening to me in Manipur. You're listening to me in Nagaland. You're listening to me in Assam or you're listening to me in Tripura. So now let us consider that distance. There's a vast distance. Thousands of miles. Uh, mind me that uh, I'm not talking about the mobile app. By mobile app, the reach can be worldwide. But I'm talking about the radio waves. So it is a broadcasting. So it is a broadcasting. When the uh, radio signals are casted on a very vast landmass, it is called the broadcasting. Just opposite to this, just opposite to this, we are going to move to the next. And it is called the narrow casting. Narrow casting means, of course, all of you must have understood right now. Okay, fine. All of you must have understood right now that narrow casting means the range will be uh, very, uh, the radius will be uh, very small. In broadcasting, the radius is very vast. Okay, but when we talk about the narrow casting, the range will be uh, limited maybe to 60 kilometers or to 15 kilometers. When we talk about the community radio, in community radio, we have the range of 15 kilometers of radius. When we talk about the FM, uh, the range can be up to 60 kilometers. Fine. So this is called the this is called the narrow casting. But uh, what is the but what is the benefit of the narrow casting? I would like to say one thing, my dear friends. I would like to say one thing that when you listen to the FM radio, the listening quality improves. The listening quality is, I must say, it is amazingly improves. Uh, in broadcasting, maybe in short wave, uh, sometimes there can be some disturbances because of the environmental disturbances. But when you listen to the FM broadcast, the quality is so clear that you feel as if you're just listening to it in the actuality. Someone has said that even you can listen to the scratch of the bow of the violin 
while you are listening to the i mean fm radio broadcast so uh, the main difference is the clarity of the broadcast and the quality of the broadcast now let us go to the next uh, that's very important and that's the topic for today and don't worry that uh, uh, i'm going to share with you uh, this entire uh, i mean entire ppt now we are going to talk about the formats of the radio program uh, if i say that uh, uh, someone asked me when i joined ncert someone asked me that uh, what do you do i said that i produce the radio program he said okay you produce the radio program but what do you produce again i said sir <laughs> i produce the radio program again he asked you produce the radio program but what do you produce i again said that i produce something which is heard and he started laughing well so uh, i meant to say that there has to be some international grammar there has to be something which has to be acclaimed internationally there has to be some definition about the radio programs right so we are going to talk about the formats of the radio program uh, first of all and then we will see how can we apply that in our educational programs so we are going to the next and uh, here we see and uh, here we see the radio documentary right so all of you can note it down right now that the first format of the radio it is most popular format it is most popular and very much liked it is very much liked it's a wonderful format and the first format of the radio program is documentary uh, if i say that uh, sir <laughs> i produce only radio program they will laugh at me but if i say i produce a documentary then i will be heard seriously i will be taken i will be taken seriously so the format number 1 as we see on the screen it is the radio documentary what do you mean by the radio documentary now we are going to that and uh, i would like to explain about it about radio documentary um, we will come to the is a pehle wale like as it is very clear by the word it is very clear by the word that it is document documentary word comes from the documentary okay documentary word comes from the document document means there is something which is documented document means there is something which is published document means there is something which is historically authenticated that's very important so we will go to the uh, so we will go to the uh, i mean next slide and here we see uh, you can uh, note it right now like uh, the document can be a print material fine documentary document can be a print material it can be an audio or video electronically recorded substance right it can be a manuscript it can be a tablet it can be an uh, inscription it can be letters all of you must be remembering about the diary of anne frank that was a documentary right it can be diary it can be photos it can be anything else so now i would like to say one thing when we produce a documentary it is essential for us to stick to the fact only uh, it is based on the fact a radio program which is based on the fact itself which is based on the uh, historicity itself is called the documentary like i would like to say one thing like uh, if i uh, i would like to take an example of uh, maybe aapka jaliyan wala bag se pehle wala of maybe i mean jaliya wala bag maybe when i when i'm going to talk about the documentary if someone asks me to i mean produce a documentary what i need to do if someone calls me yani yani assume that uh, uh, my uh, head of the department he calls me and he says that you have to produce a documentary on uh, jaliya wala bag or maybe on rani garden view of uh, your northeastern state i cannot say that i can immediately produce it what do i need i need to go to the library i need to go to some archives of uh, all india radio uh, so that i can get some audio sources or the uh, recorded sources or some photographs or anything else so i need at first the uh, uh, i must say the research material the stock material so that i can use that for the documentary without that documentary cannot be produced so this is called the radio documentary right i think i am very clear about it next uh, let's go to the next and here we come uh one more term here has come and all of you are seeing here that it is called the docudrama what is docudrama as it was very clear by uh, uh, 
I mean, the previous explanation that documentary is completely dependent on the facts and not on the fiction. But what happens most of the time that in documentary, usually what we do, that we use only two voices, only two voices. One, vo one voice is the male, one voice is the female. And when they both speak for a long time, for a longer time, there are chances of the monotony. So to reduce the monotony, we use the docudrama. And how do we do the docudrama? Like in the beginning, the anchor will come, the narrator will come, they will speak, right? And after that, after that, there will be a drama. And like, uh, I can say like this, that friends, I would like to tell you about uh, one very tragic incident that took place in the history of the Indian freedom struggle. And it was the day of the Baisakhi, the Jaliyanwala Bagh, it was being overcrowded. People were coming and coming and coming and the multitude was there and uh, people started coming to Jaliyanwala Bagh and uh, the entire Jaliyanwala Bagh, the entire ground was packed. So I would like to tell you one thing that do you know, it is something very interesting to know, at the same time very pathetic to know that there was only one door, only one gate in Jaliyanwala Bagh. So there was no any escape at all. And uh, uh, national leaders were delivering their speeches. They were giving the lectures. And uh, all of a sudden, something happened. And then the music will come, like uh, the sound of the army marching, right? And the music will be, I mean, there. And then the sound effect of the firing can come. And here, one person can come and he can play the role of General Dyer who ordered the fire, okay? And then the sound effect of the people running, uh, people dying, people being wounded, each and everything will be there. Again, the scene will be stopped and then again the again the narration will come. So this is called the uh, docudrama. Docudrama is something which is documented, which is based on the fact itself, but it is presented through the drama to reduce the monotony, right? So now we are going to the next. Now we are going to the next. And here we see, excuse me. Uh, book uh, here we see, uh, I mean, two, uh, I mean, radio formats we have already uh, discussed. Format number one was radio documentary. Format number two that we discussed, docudrama. Now we are coming to format number three. That is the, that we call the radio magazine. What is radio magazine? It's very important for us to understand, right? It's very important for us to understand. Like on a, a documentary, we, uh, we discussed that it is based only on fact. On docudrama, we have discussed that it is based on the fact, but it is presented by uh, it is, I mean, presented by the narration and the drama. And now we are going to talk about the radio magazine. What is a radio magazine? Like, uh, assume that it is a magazine. Assume that, that it is a school magazine, right? Uh, by this, we can understand. And at the same time, I would like to have your comments also. If uh, there is any question, uh, if there is any confusion, uh, to send out radio uh, television programs in Manipur. Okay, okay. Uh, all of you can comment. All of you can comment. If you're enjoying the program, I shall be happy to listen to that. I shall be happy to have that message. Uh, or how are you, are you getting, I mean, the points or not. So that's very important. So we are going now to the, I mean, radio magazine, right? Talking about the radio magazine, I would like to give you some example. Some example. An example is that, like, assume that it is a magazine. It is not, in fact, a magazine. I am having a book. But assume that it is a magazine, right? It is a magazine. And uh, uh, I am looking at the, I mean, front page right now. And I see that, uh, oh, good. Uh, this is the school magazine. And I see here that here is the nice building, nice school building. Yeah. Uh, a very good photo, a very good photograph. This is, this is the cover page. Then I turn to the next page. And then I see here that here is the editorial, right? That here is the editorial. Wow, the content is very good, but to me it seems to be a little bit uh, high, fi you know, uh, because uh, some uh, difficult words are also there. But still, it is well written. Uh, here it is. Uh, what have I seen? It is the editorial, right? 
Okay, so I am going to the next now. And when I turn the next page, I see here that here is a wonderful story. Wow. It's wonderful. I wanted to read a story. I like the story. I'm very much fond of the story, you know. So this is a story. What you have seen on the first page, we have uh, we have seen the, I mean, school building, then the editorial, then the story is here. Then if I turn the page, wow, it is more interesting. It is a cartoon, you know, and uh, I'm at, and I do like it so much. It is a cartoon. Oh, very good. But uh, where is the poem? Mm, let me see. Let me see. Oh, here is the poem. Wonderful. So have you noticed one thing? Have you noticed one thing that as I continue to turn the pages, as I continue to turn the pages, how can we make content in radio, sir? Okay, we are going to that. We need to go to that at the radio station. Fine, I will be dealing with that. I will be dealing with that. So uh, have you noticed one thing? We are talking about the radio format and the radio format, uh, we are right now, I mean, discussing about the radio magazine, right? So you have seen that as I continue to turn the pages, the the content also uh, the content also were changed. On page number one, I saw the editorial. On two, I saw the story. On three, I saw the poem. On uh, on page fourth, right? Uh, I have uh, seen a very good. Uh, I mean, uh, it was a very good. Uh, I must say the travelogue. So as I continue to turn the page, the con the content is changed. So equally, you can treat it as the radio magazine, what we can do in the radio magazine. Like I'm going to give you an example. Now, uh, right. Huh. Uh, so I'm going to uh, explain to you right now. So not on this. How do I produce a radio magazine? Uh, uh, thank you for the comment. Thank you for the comment that gives the encouragement. Now, I am going to give you an example of how a radio magazine can be produced. My dear friends, or, or all of you must have right now seen that uh, how did I explain about the school magazine. In the same way of understanding, in the same pattern, we are going to understand the radio magazine. Like I am going to start the program now. Okay. Uh, friends, welcome. Welcome to this uh, radio show. And... Uh, this radio show is being presented to you by CIET and CERT, and uh, I am Ajit. I am Ajit, my friend. Uh, I am Ajit, your friend, and uh, thank you very much for your messages that I am getting right now. And we are going to start a magazine program. Uh, uh, today we are missing uh, one of our broadcasting partner, Vimlesh, but at the same time today, because I am here, so I would like to tell you something else. So hold on to your breath. So first of all, my dear friends, uh, I would like to lend your ears right now and uh, would like to say that listen to a wonderful piano recital by uh, Ludwig von Beethoven. And after that, I'm going to bring you, I'm going to bring to you something else, but I'm not going to, but I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to bring to you so that the suspense is maintained. And after that, again, we have, uh, uh, we have with us a very popular person uh, in our studios and he is also going to talk to you, right? So my dear friends, so... It is one of the example. It is one of the examples of how we can produce a radio program. In the beginning, I stated some uh, words for welcome. Then I introduced about uh, a piano recital. And I said that we are going to listen to Ludwig von Beethoven. And then I kept the audience in the silence. And then I said that, uh, well, I have something in my store, but I'm not going to tell you. So it is going to keep you in silence. Uh, it is going to keep you in, uh, I must say, the I mean, mystery that what I'm going to do. So you continue to listen to the program. This is the radio magazine. About the radio magazine, certain things are there, which I would like to tell you. That's very important in radio magazine. It can be song, right? It can be drama. Uh, at the same time, it can be interview. At the same time, it can be story. It can be instrumental. It can be anything else. So radio magazine is basically the combination of the variety of content, uh, I mean, put together in a capsule. That is what a uh, radio magazine is. Fine. So we are going to the next. We are going to the next uh, uh, next format. Uh, as far as I remember that we have discussed about the radio documentary. We have discussed about the docudrama. Then we have discussed about, then we have discussed about uh, uh, after the docudrama. What did we talk? After that, we talk about the radio magazine. And now we are coming to the next. And this is the radio feature. What is the radio feature? Uh, now, it's, uh, it's something very, I mean, interesting for us to understand. Radio feature means, I would like to say, radio feature means, 
uh, out of so many attributes, uh, everyone is the multifaceted. You know, uh, you may be writer, you may be painter, you may be a singer, you may be a good speaker, anything else. Everyone are, everyone is basically multifaceted. So out of so many attributes or out of so many qualities, if we highlight one quality, if we highlight one quality, that is called the feature. Like we talk about a person that that her, uh, I mean, features are very sharp. Uh, we can say that the feature of this program is uh, that particular thing. Uh, in uh, uh, I will I will say an idiom, and the idiom is cherry on the cake, right? So cake is there, but the cherry is important. So we are going to uh, I mean uplift the value of the cherry, value of the cherry. So this is called the radio feature. I will uh, I will give one example to you. Uh, we have a book in NCRT, and that book is called uh, Bahurup Gandhi. Uh, today, uh, we are missing Apka uh, Bimlesh Ji. Otherwise, we could have done a very good drama. Drama is very good. So about Gandhi Ji, there, there are so many characteristics of Gandhi Ji. He was a good writer. He was, uh, he was a good, uh, I must say, he was a, he was a good speaker. Uh, at the same time, he was a good saint. There were so many qualities. But one cannot imagine that he was a good auctioneer also. Auctioneer, okay? If you have gone through this book, you, you must be knowing about this. He was a good auctioneer also. What happened one day, uh, uh, kindly uh, continue to watch me on the screen. Uh, what happened one day, that uh, he was there in Mumbai. On that time, it was called Bombay, right? On that time, it was called Bombay. And uh, he was talking to the audience and uh, the people started coming and the entire ground was packed with the audience. It was uh, overloaded with the multitude, you know, the multitude was there. So many people were there and uh, Gandhiji was uh, appealing to the people, especially to, to the industrialists and to the rich people to contribute generously for the cause of the national freedom. Struggle, right? So people started giving. Okay, I am talking about feature. One of the features of Gandhiji we are going to raise through this program, right? So uh, he started saying, and he, he started requesting the people, appealing the people that kindly give generously for the cause of the national freedom struggle. People started giving. I will not name any industrialist right now. That's not fair to name anyone right now, but uh, so many started, so many people started giving, rich people. And the money was literally actually pouring in, right? The money was actually pouring in. So all of a sudden, what happened? All of a sudden, what happened? That an old lady, eh? an old lady, she appeared all of a sudden in the stage. So people started resisting her. Oh, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Uh, uh, Gandhiji is speaking right now. But he was shouting that, let me see Gandhiji. I want to see him. I want to just meet him. I, I have something to give to him. I have, I have something, I, I have something to give to him. And the people asked, "What do you have to give to him, to Gandhi ji?" And she said, "I have a lemon. I have a lemon. Lemon." She said that uh, only uh, in my garden, I am a very poor, I am a very poor lady. In my garden, I have a lemon. I have a lemon tree, and only one fruit of lemon I have. So I want to give this to Gandhi ji for the cause of the national freedom. <laughs> People started laughing, you know, this lemon, so many people are giving the money, you know, the money is pouring in. Here we see the money is raining, you know, what your, this, uh, 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 I mean, this uh, lemon will do. And, and she started, and she started crying. And she said that, but this is what only I have. I want to give this to Gandhiji. And Gandhiji said, don't stop her, let her come to me. Let her come to me. And she came and she gave this lemon to him. Fine. What happens now, my dear friends? Gandhiji said that, friends, uh, we thank you for this lady, for this sister, that uh, all, all the people, they have given out of their abundance. But she is giving out of her actually paucity. She is very poor. And this lemon is what only, this lemon is only that she had. So she gave it to me. So we are going to use this lemon. <laughs> we are going to use this lemon for the cause of the national freedom. So I am going to, so I am going to do a bid now. And he started bidding. 101, 101, 101. Then someone said, okay, um, uh, with me here, uh, Vikas is also there. So we are going to do the bid right now. Okay. Okay. 101, 101, 101. 
300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 
So I'm not talking to I'm not talking to him, and I'm going to produce the works properly. So, Mr. Vikas, uh, what do you think about uh, the price rise nowadays? Do you feel that it is uh, that the prices are very high? Yeah, prices I think are increasing day by day, and uh, th this is an issue in our uh, in our state particularly. And Achha, in your state, um, uh, what about uh, uh, how do you come to the office? Do you drive? Yeah, I drive uh, my own car. And... So, uh, what about the petrol? Yeah, petrol prices are one of the major issues. I Achha, think. These are one of the major issues. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So I have now uh, taken his opinion and I will talk to so many other people and I will collect the opinion and then I will come to my studio. Right. So, uh, so, so I will come to, uh, at the same time, I think we can also, uh, I mean, open the message box. I can be on the left. Right. 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 Uh, so that I can interact with you. Right. So I have now taken the interview. Yes, uh, it is interview based. It is interview based. Vox Populi. Okay, it's a wonderful word. <laughs> I love this word. Vox Populi. Vox Populi. Right. So now I have taken the audio clips of so many, uh, uh, I mean, general people, normal people. And I have come to the studio. I have edited each and everything, edited. And now I will start talking to the audience. My dear friends, recently I had been to the market and I spoke to many people and uh, they and I have gathered their opinion about what is going on nowadays. And uh, the major topic was basically the price rise. So the price rise. So uh, let us listen to their opinion. So I'm not going to speak anymore. Listen to the voice of the people. So here we come with the voice of the people, right? So by so by doing so, you know, and now people are listening to what voice of the people. OK, so these are the formats of the radio program. Now, my dear friends, uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I mean, for the comment, just let me have a sip of water. Then then we will continue. Now we are hold on to your breath, my dear friends. We are coming to a very interesting session now. We are coming to a very interesting topic now. Right. We can go to the next slide now. We can go to the next slide. Uh, okay, okay, fine, fine. Right. Uh, now, this is what I really wanted to talk to. It's very important. Okay. And here we see that uh, writing for the radio. I spoke a lot. Blah, blah. Okay. I spoke, uh, I spoke a lot about the formats of the radio program, about so many things I spoke. But how to write for the radio? Is it similar to writing for some other medium? How to write for the radio? It is one of the questions. So first of all, you see that uh, avoid difficult words and use easy words. Okay. Tip two, all of you must be knowing that frame short sentences. Very good. Here we see, uh, as you are following right now here uh, on the screen, onomatopoeic words. What are the onom onomatopoeic words? Onomatopoeic words, it means uh, such words which refer to a sound. Fine. Now we are coming to a very important point. And uh, I, must, uh, uh, I must conclude it by saying so that your script must sound. If there is no sound in the script, it is not at all a radio script. Like if there is no visual in a video script, it is not a video script. So your script must sound. How your script must sound, that's uh, that's an art, my dear friend. That's an art. Let us go to the next. And here comes a comparison. I will give you, I will give you, I will give you a comparison here. Let's go through the Here we can see two columns. And I'm talking about the onomatopoeic expression for the radio script. Because, <laughs> listen to one thing, you know, writing for radio is writing for the ears. Hmm? Writing for radio is writing for the ears. It is not writing for the eyes. Rather, I will say that uh, we write for the ears and we make the audience see through their ears. Hindi mein bolu, hum log kaan se dikhate. It is easy to make someone see through eyes. It is easy, but it is not at all easy to make someone see, th see through ears. So here you see, uh, just... Uh, Look at the screen. Uh, there are two columns. 
the column which is on my left it is just a sentence or it is just an information but on the right hand side it is the onomatopoeic expression example number 1 the cup fell from the table okay cup from the cup fell from the table Hmm. Right. Thank you very much. The cup fell from the table. Okay. Fine. Fell from the table. What to do? But when will? But when I will write it for the radio, I will write the cup from the the cup fell from the table and broke. Here the word broke is basically onomatopoeic expression. So when I write it fell from the table and broke, there is a reference of a sound, the sound of uh, I mean breaking the cup. Okay, the cup fell from the table. It's okay. Information is okay. I have understood. But if I will write it for the radio, I will write the cup. The cup fell from the table and broke. Number two, uh, I can say that there were birds sitting on the tree. Fine, sir. Fine. There were birds sitting on the tree. Thank you very much. There were birds sitting on the tree. Fine, sir. Okay, okay, good. There were birds fine sitting on the tree. But how to say it onomatopoeically? How to say it from the point of view of the radio? How to write for the radio? How to write for the ears? So the birds were sitting on the tree. It is not for ear, you know. It is for my mind. It is just an information. It is an information on the book. But when I write it for the ears, how will I write? I will write, the birds sitting on the tree chirped so sweetly. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? Chirp so sweetly. When I talk about chirp so sweetly, this is the onomatopoeic expression. When you write for the radio, you must write like that. One more example. I will see. Uh, 15 minutes more I have. Uh, within that time, I will I will cover this. Uh, one more column you can see and uh, one more sentence. And that is, uh, a river flows by my village. Uh, it's good. huh? It's good, my dear friends. It's good, but uh, it seems as if it is the language of a geography book. Okay. It is not onomatopoeic. I am saying a uh, river flows by my village. Okay. Thank you very much. I would like to visit someday to your village and I would like to see that village, uh, that, that river. But when I talk in onomatopoeic expression, I will speak like this. It's awesome to listen to the alluring sound of the river flows by my village. So when I write like this, the radio program producer will have a, a reference, will have a clue that when he produces this program, he will have to give the sound effect of a river. Okay, this is onomatopoeic expression. Now we come to the last example uh, of this. Beethoven was a great musician. Fine, but it is not giving any reference about what did he play. So here I will say, Beethoven was a great pianist and composer. So here I have given the reference that he used to play the piano. And he was a great composer. So these are the onomatopoeic expressions. Now, let's go to the next. Uh, it's very important. Yes. Writing for the radio is writing for the ear. Okay. So now we are coming to the next. Uh, we can go to the next slide right now. And it's very important for you, my dear friend. See, now we are talking about the examples of the creative expressions. Onomatopoeia, you have understood. But at the same time, you also... We also need to write in a very creative way. It is called the creative writing. It is not only it is not only writing. It is the creative writing. You write something which creates something, which yields something, you know, which produces something in the heart of the people, in the mind of the people. They are mesmerized literally by the way you write. And when it is going to be, uh, I mean, when it is going to be broadcast on the radio, people are going to be grabbed by it, right? So there are two kinds of writing, right? I have 15 minutes. Okay, don't worry. This means we can see through our ears. Yes, right, sir? Uh, very rightly you have commented. This means we can see through our ears in onomatopoeic way. Right. Uh, basically, uh, the challenge of an audio program, the challenge of the audio is to make the people see through their ears. Seeing through eye is okay. Achha. Achha, former slide, please. Uh, Isse pehle ka slide. Yes. Okay, right. So here we see uh, writing for the ear. So now we are going to the next. 
now we are going to the next and here i would like to uh, invite your attention my dear friends uh, if you are uh, if the session is interesting you can write uh, i will also feel encouraged right so here we see there are two kinds of the writing writing number one is the informative writing and writing number two is creative writing here are some examples okay i write uh, look at the screen life is very busy and we have no time ah uh, okay fine yes true what should i do yes life is very busy but if i but if i say the same thing if i express the same thing in a very creative way i will i will say it like this what is life if full of care we have no time even to stand and stare if i say like this the impact will be greater the impact will be great and the people will think wow what a wonderful way to express life is very busy and we have no time uh, it is uh, it's not very interesting you know it's not very interesting now come to the next we say thank you for coming uh, like in i mean and uh, i'm going to take an example like uh, i have come to uh, vikas house and i'm going now and uh, then he will say thank you for coming so vikas uh, okay thank you thank you for coming sir acha thank you thank you very much okay uh, it seemed very very formal you know uh, i did not feel that vikas was very happy or i was even very happy it was a formal dialogue thank you for coming we say but when we say it very creatively we will say thank you for the compliment of your coming wow my visiting he has considered as a compliment to me it's wonderful you know visiting is a compliment hmm thank you for coming it's not that powerful as powerful it is thank you for the compliment of your coming if you say someone else my dear friends he will literally fall down <laughs> of the joy you know anand se gir padega uh see one thing more uh th that how we can how can radio telecast be made inclusive okay okay uh we will go to that we will go to that one more is there forest was beautiful and i wanted to stay but had some work so could not stay ha huh? it seems to be a very uh, a very normal statement very formal statement i had gone to the forest and uh, it was beautiful but uh, uh, hmm, i had so many things to do so i could not stay fine but see how creatively robert frost the english i mean poet the american poet he says it woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go do not say miles to go miles okay the length is there okay right and miles to go before i sleep right and uh, the last example uh in quarrels try to keep quiet it seems to be like a lecture you know but i must say you must know to speak silence while quarreling huh so the silence is also a very powerful word silence is also very powerful so these are some of the uh important examples of the creative writings and the onomatopoeic expressions now we are coming to the last of this and uh, with this i would like to conclude uh, something very important for you do's and don'ts while writing for the radio number 1 the language must be as simple as possible avoid information avoid formation of long of long sentences and uh, you can see that uh, spoken or media language is different than the bookish language and uh, one thing i would like to focus on it on this it is it's going to be my last don't have greed to show your vocabulary we have the greed you know <laughs> i am going to write for the radio but do you know i want to express i want to show that i also know so much sir uh, but you know i am not simply an ordinary person the way i write and no one will understand my dear friends we should not write a book for writing for ourselves i am not writing a book mai apne padhne ke liye kitab mai apne padhne ke liye kitab yahan par thodi likh raha hu ab yahan par dekhiyega the greed of the vocabulary the greed of the vocabulary i will write such high sounding words that it will go above the head and the people will um, think about me what an intellectual person he is no it is not the way we should write for the radio i would uh, like to uh, give you an example you know in africa in africa uh there are certain tricks to catch a monkey here in india what we do that we we cast the net or there are some other ways but in uh, africa 
there is a very different technique to catch a monkey. What happens? Okay, let me explain this to you. They would take a coconut shell, a coconut shell, and they will drill it, and the hole will be only only this much small, so that only hand can go inside. Only hand can go inside. Okay, shall I repeat this for you? A coconut shell they will take. The purpose is to catch the monkey. Okay, so they will take a coconut shell and they will drill it. Okay, and the hole will be so small that only the hand can go inside. But if the fist is like this, it will not come out. Right? So they put the gram inside the coconut shell. They will put the gram inside the coconut shell or something to eat, maybe the banana inside. And the monkey is looking from the tree. Wow, what are they doing? <laughs> they are putting something. They are putting something to eat. Wow, it is banana. Also, one is putting the gram. Very good. And they will do and they will hide on the bushes. The monkey will come down slowly. Okay. Monkey will come down slowly. And then he looks at that coconut shell. And then what he does? He will try to grab the gram inside. So the, as I have, as I have already explained, that the hole is so small that only hand can go. But it, but it cannot come out. So monkey keeps his hand inside. And then he grabs the gram or he grabs the banana and then he wants to and then he wants to come out. He wants to he wants to take it. Okay. But because the fist is there, fist is like this, he is not able to he is not able to bring his hand out of that shell. So he is trapped already. And the people will start sh shouting, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Huh? Now the monkey is trapped. Monkey is trapped. And the monkey is trying his level best to free himself, but he is unable to do it because he is captivated with the greed. And the greed is that he do not want to leave that gram. And the fist is like that. And he wants to, uh, and he wants to bring it out, but it uh, never happens. And what happens? Ultimately, he is caught. The, the monkey is caught. Same thing happens in the radio broadcasting. We have the greed to show our vocabulary. Uh, if I don't write this vocabulary, you know, uh, how will people understand that I am a very intelligent person? How will people understand? So I will write something else. Okay. And because of that, sometimes we think that we have written a wonderful script. But uh, when the result comes, the script or the broadcast or the program is not received by the audience at all because it is not up to the target audience. So that's very important. And one thing more, that is use anecdote and link with the theme of the program. If you do that, it will be a wonder. Only five minutes are left. Uh, so now something very technical to you. Uh, I would like to tell you uh, how teachers can help students with the audio material. Right? So mobile is a great medium. You can write in the mobile. At the same time, you can do certain things. Huh? That's very important. You can write, uh, you can record in a mobile and you can make a WhatsApp group, right? Uh, you can record a very good poem with a good uh, modulation. Modulation is very important. If life is not inside, if life is not here, how can I impart the life to others? Okay. Well, friends, I am going to talk to you. Uh, I am from NCRT. Uh, listen to our radio program. So the name of the program is Economic Development. Huh? If I speak on that way, I'm going to be switched off immediately, you know. So important thing is that someone has said, someone has said, if you smile with the microphone, world is going to smile with you. If you cry with the microphone, world is going to cry with you, right? So if the life is not inside, I cannot impart it at all. If there is no art, there is no heart. If there is no heart, there is no art. And the art of teaching is that comes only from the heart, right? So how the teachers can use, can help students with the audio material. So mobile is a great medium. You can record and you can make a broadcast group. Uh, uh, I think in one broadcasting group, 256 stu students uh, can be added and uh, do, uh, I mean, record a good poem, record a good story. And uh, on the second session, we are going to talk how to edit a program. On that, we are going to talk. Number two, podcast is nowadays becoming, uh, thank you very much. Uh, nowadays, actually, podcast is becoming very popular. About the podcast, very short, I will say, that try to use Anchor. Anchor is uh, one of the uh, 
uh, I mean, podcasting app with the Spotify. And it gives you the ample opportunity to uh, record your program at least up to half an hour of a length. So that is there. So you can do. We are coming to the last slide now. It's very important. <laughs> how to speak. How to teach. How to give a lecture. Okay. The secret of the oratory is the PPT, right? Uh, within two or three minutes, I'm going to conclude, right? Secret of the oratory is PPT. I will be very happy if you simply type PPT, simply type PPT, so that I can be assured that you are listening to what I'm saying and the message is uh, going, and the message is going to be delivered, right? PPT, fine, fine, fine. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, thank you so much. So many people have written. Thank you very much with the folded hands. Uh, so secret of the oratory is PPT. Always, rem always remember this uh, golden principle, PPT. It is not... <laughs> what is the PPT? Basically? PowerPoint presentation. PowerPoint presentation, right? But this PPT, I'm going to tell you, is something different. The use of this formula, PPT, will lead you to the great success not only in classroom, but also in every walks of your life. What is this PPT? So now go to the next. Now go to the next. Uh, uh, come back. Number one, for P, it is the pitch. All of you can type pitch. For P, it is the pitch. For next P, it is the pace. And for T, it is the tone. So how to be a good orator? How to speak well? How to give a give? How to give a, uh, how to give a good lecture? How to inspire others? How to motivate others? These three letters are going to change your life forever. Number one is the pitch. I mean, pitch means the level. You are speaking too high or too low, or you are moderate. Some voices are very soothing, you know, and some voices are very creaky, you know, very irritating. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if someone will speak like that, okay, so I, so I will get irritated. So always try to maintain your pitch. Pitch is very important. Sometimes you need to be moderate. Sometimes you need to be uh, on the high pitch. Sometimes you need to be like a baritone voice. Friends, I'm going to explain to you a wonderful story. There was a king. Okay. So I am now playing with the tone. I am, I am basically playing with the pitch. That is pitch. Number two, pace. Sometimes I am too fast that people are unable to understand. Uh, maybe the content is overloaded. So I'm speaking, speaking, speaking. But the, there must be a moderate speed of the delivery of the speech. Uh, sometimes people get nervous, you know, and they, they speak as fast as possible so that they are running from it, you know. So always be very alert about how, how, how your pace is. So point number one is the pitch. <laughs> point number two is the pace. And point number three, PPT, point number three is the tone. Okay, tone is very important. Like we say, uh, okay, you spoke well, but the tone was not good, you know, because your tone was not good. And uh, I became very angry because of that, you know, that the tone was not good. So tone is very important. How do you sound? Some teachers, uh, <laughs> I'm just making a joke. Uh, some teachers even forget that they're at home. And they keep on shouting. Uh, they assume as if they are in, still in the classroom. It is not like that. Okay? So try to understand the need of the audience, the, uh, the soul of the script. <laughs> the soul of the script. The very much, I must say, the feeling of the script. And speak accordingly. And you will see that you are going to do a miracle. So uh, with that, I would like to, uh, I would like to conclude. And I want, and I want to, uh, to say to all of you with the folded hands, thank you very much. I thank you so much and I hope that all of you have enjoyed this session. And now I would like to see all of you, if all of you can uh, switch on to your, I mean, cameras. I would like to see all of you. I would like to see all of you. And we can hail our hands to each other. We can hail our hands to each other. Uh, did you like? Did you like? Thank you. Thank you so much. So Lost in your voice. Uh, uh, pardon me? Hello? Uh, speak on. Uh, you can speak.
गैलरी में हाँ तो एनी वन ऑफ यू कैन स्पीक राइट नाउ But when you speak to me, we have given use... the rights. So if uh, anybody wants to say something, then they can unmute yourself. Or if feeling shy, you can comment on the comment box, right? Uh, yes. But 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 whenever you go to the class, remember this theory <laughs> PPT. Okay, that is the pace, that is the pitch, and the pace and the tone. That's very important. That's the way of the expression. You know. So thank you very much once again, and. Uh, uh, Yes, sir. We get the messages in the chat box. Excellent session. Great yes. session. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. So. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, from me and uh, so I'm going to conclude the program right now. So friends, I am Ajit Horo and right now I'm going to conclude this program. Hope that you have enjoyed listening to this wonderful program and this program was brought to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India. So we are going to see uh, each other soon on the next session. So thank you very much. Thank you very much and all.